We are David and Stacey Whited, and we live in Kansas City, Missouri, which takes its meat and seasoning very, very seriously. Very seriously. It's borderline religious. We don't have mountains. We don't have beaches. So we take. We uh, have the Chiefs. Yep. We and we have meat. And meat. <laughs> and we barbecue a lot. Everybody I know, if you're over the age of 30, you got at least three grills and uh, uh, buying spices and seasonings and rubs and all this kind of stuff. And not only just to go with it, it's kind of a pastime. If you get together, you circle up after church, and there's four or five guys talking there to talk about their grills, the chiefs, maybe their wives. But, but <laughs> careful. But but they're definitely talking talking about 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 rubs and who does the best and who's got who's got what going. So I've had a habit for twenty some years. If you're traveling or a truck stop somewhere, you're someplace and you see an interesting spice or a seasoning, you know, you're like, oh, I'll buy it. It's like a, it's almost a, a joke. We're walking out of a Bucky's or walking out of some obscure gas station. Oh my gosh, or, you should see his seasoned oh. cabinet. <laughs> it doesn't all fit in there. You open it up and it falls out. He's so, got so many seasonings. So in our life, you know, we raised our kids and everything. I kind of make the meat, got the grill, got that kind of going, and she has something healthy to go with it so it looks better. I do the sides. She has a side, a salad, you know, something like that to go with it. So I'm always looking for, you know, ways to make something better, whether you're crock potting or smoking or grilling or, you know, whatever you're doing, you know, with seasonings. And so, anyways, the reason I wanted to say this, I've actually volunteered because I'm so passionate about this new seasoning because I retired all of my other ones. It's SBG from Gillaholics. Um, I, I got it. And I'm like, okay, I'll give this a shot. I kind of left it to the side for a while because there was just other things and I got some, some staples. And then the first time I got it out and used it, I was like, oh my gosh, there was enough Again, SPG, salt, pepper, and then the garlic. And the garlic's enough that it's got a little something to work with because I would oftentimes add that myself to mix. Create your own spices. Create my own spices. And so it's so funny because people will come to our house and they'll be there for dinner or whatever. He actually will pull out the seasoning and said, you've got to get this stuff. It's so amazing. It is the best. It retired. <laughs> it, it put all of these, put all these great seasonings up here on, on the bench. They now had to go into early, early retirement. Like if, if you're the quarterback of an NFL team and they draft somebody in the first round, you know, your days are limited. And that's kind of the way it was after I had the Grill Hogs SPG. So I'm excited to try other ones with it. But I went through it fast and I quickly learned, man, you can put it on eggs, you can put it on chicken, you can put it on beef, you can put it literally anything. You probably put it on your arm and it's like, you know, just, you know, but anyways, you it, get it, too hungry. It, it's, it's phenomenal. What I like it is if, if you're not really into grilling, you're not really that good, or you're not giving a lot of thought, or you just don't care that much, it's it's a no-brainer because you can't really can't really do too much of it. Too little of it is still going to have some some flavor and something going on. So you can't mess up your meat by putting some of this on it, and it makes you look a lot better than you are. So whether you use a Traeger or a flame grill or whatever it is that you're doing, this is going to give you your best chance to kind of have a successful meal no matter what, day in day out, without a whole lot of thought process in it because it's already done for you. It's amazing.